We go to Mexico now, where on January 2nd, journalist and activist Moses Sanchez was abducted by armed men from his home in the state of Veracruz. While the state suffers from high rates of drug gang crimes, including kidnappings, family and colleagues of Sanchez suspect that his abduction was no random act, but rather a case of enforced disappearance. Covering the latest, here's our correspondent Clayton Kahn. Fellow journalist students and the family of the abducted journalist and activist Moises Sanchez continued their protest in his hometown of Medellin de Bravo. They say his reporting activism against local corruption made him an uncomfortable subject for the authorities. We are yet to receive a threat or a phone call demanding ransom. Nothing. This is precisely because we know what his work is. We know that being a reporter is very dangerous in Veracruz. They may even disappear you or you might have an accident. Journalists and reporters also expressed their solidarity in the Mexican capital, protesting in front of the Veracruz State Representative Building. They say the case of Sanchez is not an isolated or local matter. A government that acts transparently does not need to target journalists. But when there are cases of corruption, siphoning of money and repression, the government will turn to silence in the press. Experts say that Mexico is one of the most dangerous countries for journalists to work, pointing to an approximately 90 percent impunity rate in cases of murdered media workers. According to media watchdog and rights groups, more than 50 journalists have been killed in the country since it launched its so-called drug war in 2006, and more than a third of those have been in the state of Veracruz. Clayton Cantalosur, Mexico City.